Looking to start the party but don't want to spend a ton of money? Then check this out. Discover cool stuff. Tech Baffle. Hello and welcome to Tech Baffle. James Otter here. This is the Goodman's Deep Bass Party Speaker with dynamic LED lighting. So it features Bluetooth, max power 60 watts, high power bass, up to six hours of playback, USB playback, 3.5 millimeter in, and it has a mic socket, so you can also use this as a karaoke machine. I don't think it has a microphone included, so you will have to provide that yourself. Uh, it has the usual kind of gubbins on the side. At Goodman's, we believe in great products, and blah de blah de blah The Goodman's Deep Bass Party Speaker with dynamic LED lighting. So we can stream music via Bluetooth. We've got dynamic multicolor LED lighting, 60 watts max power. That's a load of rubbish. Pay attention to RMS. Always pay attention to RMS. It's, to, it's 30 watts. Built-in rechargeable battery with up to six hours of playback. 3.5 millimeter line in, USB playback, microphone input for your karaoke. It also has a carry handle for easy portability. So say if you're taking this to a class or anything that you need to take it with you, you can go ahead and do that. And you also have a mains charger included. So this is a rechargeable speaker with up to six hours of playback. Yeah, so it does have a mains charger as well. So you can just plug this in the wall if you don't want to use the built-in rechargeable battery. Okay, so in the box you have the party speaker, remote control, a mains power adapter, and an instruction manual. On the box it says 59 quid. I think I got it reduced slightly, but for 59 quid, that's quite a lot of speaker for your money. Let's take a look inside the box. So first up we have the color instruction manual. That's quite cool. So the deep bass party speaker. Oh, wait a minute, we have a remote control. I wasn't paying attention, I probably said that in the box. That's really cool, we have a remote control in the box, a 3.5 millimeter aux in, I don't even know if you can see me at this point. Hello. <laughs> um, we have an actual plug as well, so that's nice. Not like some USB gubbins, sometimes they just put USB cable and you have to work it out for yourself. It has a full mains adapter as well. Uh, under that, we have the speaker. Come out. That sounded dodgy. Not a bad size, to be fair. Bear in mind, this is a party speaker. It's going to be on the larger side, but if you want deeper bass, you want to play your music loud, you need the space for the big speaker inside. So let's take a look inside. I like the orange. So we have all our controls on the top. So we have the LED button. We have what? M pre. M. M pre. Mute. I don't know what that means. Should have read the manual. Um, I'll put the caption of what that button means. Uh, recording. Oh, that's quite cool. We have recording as well. Mode. Previous and next song. And then play pause. And then finally we have the menu. And then we have this big jog wheel in the center, which I guess is for the volume. We have the tweet up there, the woofer there, and then we have the bass port up there. So that's really cool. We have the tweeter as well. So it's not just going to sound like you're listening through like a duvet, it's gonna actually sound nice and clear at the same time. The top left might actually be just a decoration. Yeah, I think that's just a decoration. Because <laughs> um, I think the bass port is actually on the back. So this big boy bass port on the back. And we have some more controls on the back as well, which is cool. So we have the nine volt in for this power adapter. So don't lose this because it. that's the only issue with having these sorts of power adapters that it will need this plug to work. You can't just out of USB. Um, we have USB, but that's for your flash drive. You want to plug in a flash drive for MP3 playback. Power on and off switch. TF card, so that's for your micro SD, so you can also use that to play MP3s. Aux in, if you want to plug in a wired system, say like a CD player or anything like that. So we have microphone one and two as well, so you could actually use this. That's really cool for a full karaoke system. Bearing in mind, you will have to provide those microphones separately. Don't worry, there's no microphones in the box, so you won't have to hear me singing. <laughs> yeah, on the front we have the digital display. Obviously, we'll find out a bit more about that in a moment once we plug it in. But yeah, the remote's really cool. I like a remote control. Because everything used to come with a remote control, and then things these days are like, oh, have a Bluetooth app. But I'm like, I, I, I don't know why I like a remote control. It does feel a bit on the cheap side, I've got to be honest. So it's a bit of a... Oh no, there's no batteries included. The TV won't mind, I'm just gonna nick the batteries from the TV remote. 
God, it's quite difficult to open this thing. There we go. Ooh. And this one. Thank you very much. There we go. And there we go. We have our remote control. So I got this from BNM. I think this is an exclusive product for BNM. So go ahead and check out your local store. However, if there's any other places, I'll put the links in the description. Wait until the end of the video because I'll be doing a full sound test. So you want to check that out. So here's the power adapter. Uh, I'd say like maybe one and a half meters long. Not the longest cable in the world, but if you're near a power outlet, it should be right. Bear in mind, if you charge your speaker up, you can use this completely wirelessly as well. So you don't have to plug it in. Also, when you plug this in via this mains cable here, it will charge up the battery. We have lights. Let's go ahead and power it on. Oh, there's actually a hard power switch on the back, so you will have to do that first. There we go. Power on. Bluetooth mode. Thank you. It talks, hooray. We don't need this instruction manual to chuck over there. So on the remote control, you can go through the different modes. You can change the volume and you can change which song you're playing and play and pause. So for testing out the speaker, I will be going on to Epidemic Sounds. But first of all, like the LED mode, you've got this different control here and it looks really cool. Can you see that in the camera? It looks really nice. So if you press LED, you can go through all the different modes. I don't know. I'll leave it on that one. I like that setting. So <laughs> we have a variety of different modes. But let's go ahead and play a song. Give you a bit of a preview on the overhead camera. Look at that. So it has LEDs going right around the edge of the speaker. So it's a really cool effect. But similar to the JBL speakers. So let's go ahead and connect this to Bluetooth. Oh, here we go. Goodman's party speaker. Let's pair that. And now... Bluetooth connected. Thank you. <laughs> that should be my new co-host. Watch out, Shannon. So... Let's go ahead and play some music. So I'm using Epidemic Sounds to test out the music. Good bass. Good bass. This is really trippy having the music coming through the microphone. So we can see that the lights are kind of animating with the music, which is really cool. So we pause it. It goes to more of a sort of slow, just sort of swirling round. But there is different settings of lights as well, so you can change it if you don't like the look of this. And then we play the music. So we have one tweeter there, and then we have the main bass speaker right there. So on the display at the top, it shows us which mode we're in, and then when we adjust the volume, it also comes up on the speaker, look, on the LEDs which is really cool, a nice effect. So really easy to use, that's the volume. So you've got the volume up here, we've got all the controls, so you can control it via the speaker or you can control it via the remote control. Okay, so we can skip to the next song as well. So the remote is really cool, so you can use that or you can control it via your phone, whatever you prefer. I've got my headphones off so I can hear it better, but Good quality sound to it, and it can get quite loud. Ooh. Yeah, it goes quite loud. <laughs> so if you've got your music playing on your speaker, you can just go ahead and put your phone in like that, and it actually docks it as well. It doesn't charge your phone or anything fancy, but it means that you can see what song's playing, or you can change the song via your phone as well. But this is also really cool if you want to use like a karaoke app as well, so you could read the lyrics from your phone and sing along. Play pause. The buttons are very clicky sounding. Bit of a delay, but we're playing music again now. So, I like the feel of this central control. It's really nice with the sort of brushed effect on it as well. Really nice. One really cool feature on the speaker I've just noticed is that the Apologies, it doesn't flicker in real life, it's my camera, but it actually shows you the battery level on the display as well. So you just have to glance over and you can see how much battery your speaker has. Bearing in mind, I've got this plugged in at the moment. Does it have any power at the moment? Probably not. Oh, 
So when we unplug it, you can see that currently we have about about three quarters battery level. It's a really nice speaker to be fair. It can get quite loud at louder volumes because it's quite bass heavy. It can sound a little bit distorted. Oh, so this button at the top, M dot PRI, <laughs> but it means vocal priority. So oh, I guess it means microphone priority, M dot PRI. So vocal priority. So you can switch between vocal priority presets when a microphone is connected. It's more for if you're doing a bit of karaoke. Um, excuse me. I'm trying to film a video. I haven't got time for answering phone calls. To be fair, the instruction the instruction manual is actually really easy to get used to. Like if you're not that tech savvy, you go through the instruction manual. It's really nicely and clearly laid out. So this Goodman's Deep Bass Party Speaker is a really nice speaker. It feels really nice and high quality. So without further ado, let's go ahead to the sound test. Where I'll be using binaural microphones to test out the speaker, and you can listen at home what it sounds like. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Tech Battle. Ooh, really? Well, I guess. Here goes. If you didn't know, this is Harris the Cow. So, yeah. Cover your ears, Harris. You say yes. And don't make waves. I don't have to try to do I don't have to do well. I don't have to waste another life. She's awful. I don't wanna wait and waste another life. That's quite a different song. I like the effort. I don't know if you can actually change that or not, but you know. Tell me what you done for me. It's awful. Done for me. Done for me. 
with your bones Go on vacation, leaving your affection for me I can't, I can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't. We don't need we to don't hear any more of that. We get the that idea that karaoke, karaoke function karaoke works. <laughs> and there's actually two inputs as well, so it doesn't just have to be me. Fucking Oh, that's a missed opportunity. I should have got Shannon here and we could have both been doing karaoke. And anyway, that's enough of that. Overall, I'm really impressed with the speaker. I think it's really nice, especially for the money. Like, if you're getting anything from Sony, JBL, yes, it might be slightly better in terms of sound, in terms of maybe the lighting. I think the lights are actually really cool on this speaker, especially the different varieties of settings you've got. You've got all sorts of different ones, and it, a bit like the JBL ones that you can animate when you're doing the volume as well. But if you're looking for a party speaker and you're not looking to spend loads of money, this is actually a really good choice. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you want any more of this sort of thing, don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing. I'm on social media. Go ahead and follow me at TechBaffle. For all the latest, head over to techbaffle.com. Thanks for watching and have a baffling day.